It's 11, 59, 59 seconds. Hey if to I'm our one, one big tribe out there, some old and some new members. Um, thanks for spending the next few minutes with me. I normally myself don't spend a lot of time going to home parties to try to buy items. However, today I'm going to try to sell you some jewelry. But wait, this is different. You have something to gain that goes far beyond any sort of accessories to make your already beautiful selves even more beautiful, as if that's possible. You have something to give as well, and that's a huge difference to some women and children that you don't even know that live 10,000 miles away. Here's the story. So, a couple of years ago, I was traveling in Nicaragua, ended up in the highlands in a cloud forest way off the Gringo Trail, and I met this woman named Sally. Oh, and by the way, this wasn't one of those resorts. This was a place where you had to get to it on the chicken bus. So we're eating breakfast outside, and she's telling me about her passion in Uganda before we go horseback riding. And I have some new accessories, my favorite necklace and some of my favorite bracelets. And look, I have a bag to take with me and a scarf in case I need to do something with my hair. So anyway, let's talk about the artisans in Uganda and what they're up against. We all have struggles, but if we were lucky enough to take our first breath in a first world country, it's likely that our struggles are significantly less than our friends who are in the tribe in Uganda. Fast forward to today. Thankfully, the war is over. However, there remains an entire generation of young people that are facing PTSD um, and the grief over the loss of their families and their communities that once were very strong but are now displaced or non-existent. In addition, HIV and AIDS ran rampant for years, and many parents were killed or unable to care for their children, so grandparents, grandmothers, and aunts and friends stepped in so they could provide a, a roof and over the children's head and some food. However, there's no money for medical care. There's no money for school. There's no money for clothes. Special needs kids have it even worse. However, the women and children of Omeo are survivors and they're ready to rebuild their lives. It's tough with 70% unemployment rate, so they're looking for other ways. Wouldn't you? I'm back. If you ever have any trouble with your business attire, get a little pizzazz. I'm just saying, there's plenty of opportunities for you to do that. Oh, so, I'm a fan of giving, no matter what your intent is. Um, but a lot of times we give just food or money. And especially in the case of Africa, if you were a child the same time I was, your parent told you, you better finish your food, they're starving kids in Africa. So now we're sending food, we're sending money. However, what I'm most interested in is giving a boost to someone who is trying their best to get a, above the water. And really that's all someone needs so that they can save themselves in most situations. And in the end, that's what we all want, right? We all want to know that there's connection, we all want to know that there's purpose, and we all want to know whatever we did mattered. So giving to someone to save their life is important, but giving a boost to someone to make their life can be argued to be even more important. But at the end of the day, I might not have no money to count or spend, but I know I can count. 